We live in a world where femininity, marriages, family, and courting is no longer valued. We live in hookup culture, situationships, and struggle love. The number one reason women struggle in long-term relationships, number one, femininity, and number two, staying in a relationship or entertaining people longer than the woman should. My name is Tania DeVita, and I'm a relationship and femininity coach. I've been married for 12 years, and I want to help you get on your feminine journey and vet for the right man today. For more of my content, you can visit MrsDanielleDeVita.com or you can go to YouTube, Instagram, or my Facebook page. Get on your feminine journey today. Well, China has finally said something after receiving backlash, after they received so much heat. Like, for a moment there, they were saying, it's it's um it's old news why are we talking about this i just did a story on um the chinese guy that that did like a documentary um telling african kids to say that i am a black monster and my iq is low remember that clip <laughs> Now China is responding to it <laughs> after receiving backlash and they were dragged. They received a lot of heat, but at first they were saying, mm, I mean, it, this is old news. This video was in 2020. Why are we talking about this? We're not gonna address this. That was the vibe from them. But now that people are calling them out left and right, activists, politicians, governments, like they're receiving a lot of heat because of this BBC documentary, even though the video uh, was old. It happened in 2020. So now China realized that people are not letting this go. They are saying that they have no tolerance for racism. That's what they're saying. So China's top diplomat in the region, Wu Peng, has also been engaging in damage control. He went to Malawi on Tuesday where he met the government officials and he took a picture and posted it on Twitter and he, he wrote, quote, nice to feel in person the warm heart of Africa. Malawi is a beautiful country with lovely people. And he also tweeted, I just reached an agreement with Malawi and FM that both China and Malawi have zero tolerance for racism. China has been cracking down on this unlawful act in the past year. We'll continue to crack down on such racial discrimination videos in the future. And get this, the day after his visit, Malawi's Ministry for Foreign Affairs tweeted about a new Chinese scholarship opportunity for Malawians to study in China for a master's degree sounds like they're trying to shut them up they're trying to bribe them for their silence basically like they're announcing a scholarship opportunity for malawians the same day that this um, minister came to smooth things yeah obviously we see the correlation they want to um, do this so that they can smooth things over but my thing is instead of going through all this nonsense of trying to give good PR and try to convince Africans that you're, you're doing something for Africa why not take action we all know who did this we know the person that took this video and sold it to a website and we know who the website owner is why not do the right thing why not hold your own people accountable for the racism that they have inflicted on Africans? Why not do that instead of trying to bribe us with scholarships and posting a sweet tweet about Africa and how warm we are? That's that's nonsense. We don't that's not the point. The point is when somebody does something wrong in this case, being a racist towards innocent children, what are you doing? to fix it. What are you doing to teach other Chinese people it's not right to mistreat, to discriminate and be racist towards Africans? That, like, I think that's the main thing for us. We're not asking for you to give us scholarships. We're asking for the same respect you would want to be given to your people. Just do that. And, you know, unfortunately, this might work out for them and some people might forget what just happened, but the majority of people won't forget. I'm glad BBC did this documentary again. I don't know what made them do it now when this happened in 2020, regardless what their agenda is, because we all know when mainstream media is doing in-depth um, documentary or they're trying to talk about a certain topic, we all know there's, agenda, there's an agenda behind it, but 
at the end of the day this happened we know it happened so it doesn't matter what bbc wants to get from exposing the chinese in this point in time what we care about is the people that were hurt because of this the people that were degraded because of this the people that were insulted because of this so um they're saying they have zero tolerance we have yet to see what they're going to do to the people that are coming to africa and being racist anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am ungel zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya.